What on earth did the Germans do here? Is that a German battlefield bunker oven? That is absolutely spectacular. Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. It is History Hunter eagle eyes. and Eagle Eyes. Are you ready to go back in time? We are going back to the World War II time frame on the Atlantic Wall where the Germans ruled. And this is one of the locations where that happened. Hitler said, build me the Atlantic Wall. And he did. And they built tens of thousands of structures. This is one of the locations which are not big. Your maybe typical thing is like Normandy beaches, Calais, all of that, the huge gun placements. They were important. This is a tiny small little place on the Atlantic wall, but it's very important because of one thing. It's on a high vantage point. It's on a peninsula and the Germans dug in here. They took over what was locally uh, or belonged to the local uh, military here first. They saw the place, they converted it and said, we're gonna do this. And that's what we're gonna find here today. That is one of the first features. Wow. These are actually pieces from this this is a coastal artillery location, and that is absolutely out of this world. These are gunpowder cage cases. Are you freaking kidding me? And they're just laying around here. What on earth? Never ever seen that before. But I think these are original um, sink uh, buckets. Just about to say this is just a munition story, but this is out of this world. See here, these pieces were actually used by the soldiers here. This is a piece of a bunker oven, cast iron. What on earth is that? That is actually also a piece. That seems to be like a felt oven, a felt, um, is that a German? I don't believe it. Is it? That could be a uh, felt oven or a oven they took to the uh, battlefields. So that is something they heated the bunkers and barracks. And that, if I'm not too mistaken, is actually very rare. And you can see here buckets and uh, cans and stuff. What on earth is going on here? That is so strange to see that this is actually still here. Eagle Eye spotted something on the top here. What is that? That is a massive stone construction. What is going on here? Holy cow! What the? That is so deep! Is this for, for the mortar position? You give me a second. I've never seen anything like it. How the heck? This is so deep. Did they place a barrack in here and these are protective walls? Listen guys, this is like five meter high walls. I need to get in there to show you this. See this? I think this is a protective wall and they built a barrack just in here. So we're gonna see this thing from over there. This is crazy, exciting. So they hollowed out the mountain top here completely. See here, here is your entrance point. Oh wow, this is tall. Holy cow, look at that. Oh, soggy bottom. I think they had a plan here to put a barrack in here to protect it. You see these extremely tall walls? This is a typical thing that often the Germans used. They utilized the uh, terrain 
and then they put barrack foundations inside and you can see how tall this is so Big. it would cover the whole height of a house actually or barrack Almost. here you can see the strategic position of this area here and also i can actually see there's a trench starting here eagle eyes there's a trench starting here so this is a uh, fighting trench on the top but here you can see how important this place is. It was all the way out on the peninsula. This is almost the end of it, but we're going to get to the end. And you can see the ocean there. So they would protect the stretch of uh, ocean here to prevent vessels to go through here. Let's see what Eagle Eyes found. Yeah, most definitely trench line running through here. You can see it started right there, comes up through here. And then Eagle Eyes, he said, he saw something that was blasted. Oh, wow. Holy cow. That is a ringstand for either a uh, mortar or a machine gun tobruk. That looks like it's been completely smashed. Wow. It's been hit for sure. Totally smashed up. And there is the ring that I think could be for the machine gun turret to swivel around. Either that or it could be a blasted mortar position. Holy cow, you see what it is? All the way. And you can see they also have to protect the waterways over here. But I'm going to show you that later. Holy cow, this is cool. If you don't know what you're looking for, you won't find it. That's a one man foxhole. You can see the outline here, 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 here. That is a fighting position. Now let me see if I can get Eagle Eyes to demonstrate that. See that? He's now ready with his Carabiner K98 rifle. And it's a formidable fighting position. Even though it just looks like a tiny little hole, this would be much deeper. And I'm guessing one guy could sit fire that direction and one guy fire at that direction. And he could also throw a hand grenade. Boom! Very good, Eagle Eyes. What a good illustration of what that was supposed to do. Fighting position. Just a tiny little foxhole, but it could cover the whole hillside here. We have some RAF surveillance photos that we're looking at, but it's so overgrown that it's going to be pretty difficult to find all the positions that we're looking for. But what a spectacular little place already. These beautiful small details and that cutout in the mountain there, that was impressive. Absolutely a lot of work being done here to kind of Oh, I can see what Eagle Eye said. He talked about an underground bunker, and I think I just saw it there. Wow, wow. Another fighting position, you can see it right there. It's been filled in during the years with crap branches. And look here, that trench leads you right into something in the mountainside there. Wow. So this is also, I think this is a mortar position actually to protect themselves from attack from this side or this flank. It has to be a mortar position. And then you have the trench leading you into, this is probably a munition bunker indeed. Wow. Just as I was entering the Stuttpunkt um, munition bunker, what I guess is a munition bunker or shelter for the crew, either for a machine gun position or that mortar pit you saw. It's starting to hail a lot. So we might have to seek refuge in the bunker for a little while. But it's just a tiny little thing. You can see here, they created this uh, square here. And then it's just cut out in the mountain here. You can see actually where the drill bit went. See that? So it's just a tiny little room. See if I can go inside here and show it to you. You see the drill bit holes are still there. That's the end of it. You see here? So they were inside here. Munition was probably stored there. And they could enter in here if there was an air raid. And this is on the best side to be if there was an air raid because the Allied attack would come from the ocean side and then this side would be impossible to bomb and you have like 30 meters of rock off top of you, the mountain. So pretty safe place. Cool. 
sometimes it's just about the details that is spectacular this is a standard issued typical barrack bunker piece the germans they had thousands of this this is a enameled wash tray and you can find these on any pictures where the soldiers were in their you know personal habitat in the bunkers and barracks this is amazing that it's still there this has been laying out there for such a long time it's enameled and i can promise you i know for sure many of you will say no that's a modern thing it's not this is something that we find everywhere where the germans had their installments once upon a time alfred or Thomas or somebody actually used this they used this to clean their faces and shaven and it could be the Hauptmann, the boss of the complex who knows that is absolutely wonderful just a little piece of history but we found it and we were able to share it with you so happy for that yeah this is very difficult for you to see but there's actually running trenches all over the hill here and it comes from here stops here there's a fighting wall kind of position here and it continues down there it's not easy to see but i can promise you it is the, it's there and i can see a lot of dark clouds coming in and the wind is picking up look at that hope you kind of appreciate what we're doing here look at the weather it is ferocious hope you appreciate what we're doing if you give us a thumbs up a like hit the notification bell subscribe it's greatly appreciated and also have a look at this did you know that you can become a world war ii history hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you in this manner and fashion here by creating beautiful world war ii dioramas and displays you can be the future keeper of something very very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together check out the link in the video description you can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to different kind of perks with for your eyes only videos travel vlogs restoration projects all of that good stuff and if you want to know more check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month but now let's continue our little adventure yep you can help us and at the same time you can end up having a beautiful piece of history yourself okay let's see if we can find some more of the installments here this place is exciting there you go that is another really really worked out barrack foundation position this is also pretty wild see here it's this huge retention wall that's been built here this deep cut out down and where did they enter i think they entered down here oh my goodness this this is almost impossible to see actually because of all the forest we can see they entered here they came into the barrack that was placed here and they've been putting trees inside but it is a massive cutout in the ground here holy pancake what a crazy spot just imagine this german barrack standing right there holy cow and in the meantime the ocean is raging down there see that many of the power supply poles that are here there were never electricity here before the germans came the germans came they put out a grid a lot of cables everywhere and it actually also came to the benefit of the locals sometimes not always but many of these are actually the ones that was put up there by the germans for the germans and they're still standing all right we found the most crazy bunker you can ever imagine there's a huge steel girder there and there is a little something there but what we found here is amazing look at this position here this is where they put a pack on Panzerabwehrkanone and they put it there to be able to take out whatever vessel come this way but it's an even more interesting piece of uh, detail further out here and <laughs> you're gonna love that and it's right there this is as far as you can get out on the peninsula there's actually a bunker right there and we are going to try and see if we can get to the outside we call it from this side or at least come down here 
Look at this. Holy moly. Such a crazy wind here. Hope you can hear me. And also the waves are so rough. Wow, what a place. And just imagine being a German soldier sent here and yet you'll be told to serve here at this location, no matter what. Could it be nice in the summertime? You could actually go down for a dip. But in the hard winter times, when the storm hits and two meter waves, well, that will be something totally different. Let's go down and have a look at that incredible bunker. That is absolutely spectacular. I've never ever seen anything like it, to be honest. Look at this place where it's positioned. And I do know that it's not random. This was put here specifically because it could cover all of this area of water in all directions. Wow. <laughs> Let's have a look inside first. Yeah, it's just a tiny little concrete thing with the one, two, and three openings. One there, one there, and one here. Let me show you what they could see. Ocean. Oh my goodness, it's almost like you're riding on top of the ocean there. Can you see that? What? It's like you're sitting on top of the waves. Holy cow! That's that scary. is absolutely scary. And the waves are not even big today. Can I can I have a look in yours? Yeah, they are so close to me. <laughs> oh, this is intimidating, but so cool. Oh, this is an honor and pleasure for us to be able to share this with you. We do go out, we research, we travel, and we do it because of these moments, finding these spectacular, small, tiny little, you know, secrets out there. You can go to Calais or Dover and Normandy and all of that and find the huge positions. But these ones, well, they're a bit tricky to find. <laughs> and that's, ladies and gentlemen, that's what it looks like from this side. I'm stunned. I've never seen anything like it. This little square thing taking care of business right there. Business time. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Let me see if I can turn around, Eagle Eyes. You go behind me now, because to be honest, we are a bit intimidated. Look at this. This is one of the craziest places we've ever been finding a machine gun bunker used in the Second World War. Would you agree? <laughs> oh, my goodness. And it's like, well, a little bit more waves now and uh, History Hunter and Eagle Eyes, we are history. <laughs> and you can see here, this is not just, this is crazy. You can see the rain coming in there, you guys, can you see that? Ah. Oh, that's hail. Uh -huh. Let's go. <laughs> wow, we just discovered another little thing here. This is a motor pit and there's a freaking bunker under here. Are you kidding me? And we can go inside. Wow, Eagle Eyes, have a look here. I yeah, I see. There's a motor pit there. Wow. So this motor could probably aim at anything coming here. Is it for just near the fence or to take out targets out in the ocean? I don't know. But there's also supposed to be a set of trenches down here. I've seen some of it, but I can see that they're almost fully buried. But what I think we have here is actually a complete bunker. It is a freaking fully buried bunker. This is exciting, wow. You can see, could that be like a window opening there? We can see a ventilation pipe. And this is the opening. There are some metal sheets there. And this is the stair that led down to the bunker. What is this place? This is just a mortar bunker. What is it? Look at that. Wow. I'm going in, Eagle Eyes. You're going to wait outside? Yeah, I'm going to check out what this is. Wow. Surprise. We didn't see this on the aerial photos and that is strange, but that's, that's how it is. They camouflage it so well that it would be actually impossible to find. Oh, someone actually put in Coach couches here, what the heck? Okay, what the heck? Wow, steel girders. That is something I've seen many times that the Germans did. 
Okay. Wow. So this is the mortar pit. It's been kind of half filled in. But there you go. This is the mortar pit. And that is where the German soldiers would activate their mortar skills. There's a little canister of some sort. Some of these are um, kegs for, for uh, gunpowder. The Germans had 10.5-centimeter uh, guns here, and uh, we found one. Wow, what an amazing place. And it's so camouflaged, so camouflaged. It is crazy to think that one man, Hitler himself, he did all this. He said, create this masterpiece plan of uh, the Atlantic Wall. And uh, I wonder how many millions or even perhaps billions of square meters of concrete that was used. How many thousands upon thousands of lives that were lost to build the bunkers. How many tried to escape the hard blood work? How many were fired, executed? How many of these locations were populated by the German crews? And they never, 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 absolutely never fired one single bullet. They were just like dolls waiting for nothing. The war came, boom, they went back. So what an absolutely spectacular waste of time human resources, whatever money, absolutely crazy to think about that the Atlantic Wall was something that could last. Yes, in a way it was pure madness to even start the Atlantic Wall, but that's history for you. Um, I'm gonna complete this video for you here now. I have tons of more expeditions and explorers coming up. Right now I'm working on a very special German World War II aircraft crash site. It's just piling up everywhere and we are out there for you so you can enjoy and learn from our time spent out there. Thank you for being here. Thank you to all our Patreon PayPal supporters. You are the guys and girls who makes this come true. And if you are a viewer, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, watch the videos in full, all of that good stuff, and you'll help us out to reach even more targets. Until next time, stay safe, keep smiling, and we'll definitely see you later.